The opposition St. Lucia Labour Party continues to lament what it says is the perceived lack of concern for the welfare of citizens by the government. The SLP has slammed the administration for commencing capital projects during unprecedented times. Electioneering is underway, but campaigning has been impeded by social distancing, COVID-19 protocols, which limit engagement with supporters at public gatherings. So, the party improvised, taking its message to the people via a groundbreaking virtual meeting from the studios of Helen Television System. Opposition leader Philip J. Pierre pledged that a SLP government will make the welfare of citizens a top priority. The unemployed in the hotels are suffering. The hotel workers, the hotel workers are not sure when, when they will get back to work full time. The taxi drivers are suffering. The people are suffering. And while the people are suffering, the government is embarking on election projects, hoping they can fool the people of St. Lucia to give them another term. My brothers and my sisters, the Labour Party will always put the people of St. Lucia first. Pierre contends that the current administration should allocate funds to social programs to bring some relief to those affected by the pandemic rather than spending on infrastructure projects. Taking the people's money and building roads that are unnecessary at this time. We would increase the income support to the unemployed people in the country so $500 would not be enough. A Labour Party would ensure that these people would get at least $1,500 for their response to COVID. We would triple it, my brothers and sisters. We would triple it because we would have used the money wisely. We would have used it wisely. We would increase public assistance. We would ensure that every St. Lucian, every St. Lucian can get a decent meal. First Deputy Leader Dr. Ernest Hilaire pointed to the alleged increase in cost of the rehabilitation of the Rosso Dam. On Monday, and I'll say more about it on Tuesday, on Monday I looked at the Gazette and I noticed that the National Regulatory, um, regulatory um, for Utilities, Gazette had a notice saying that they are now capping the Rosso Dam project at $60 million. And I'm saying to myself, but wait, that was supposed to be a $45 million project. How has it reached $60 million? So I've started my investigations. And on Tuesday, I'll get a chance to say, say more about it. I heard a civil engineer has been paid $100,000 a month at the Rosso Dam. $100,000 a month. There's another engineer, engineering services, $150,000 a month. The government has indicated that capital projects are one of the ways it intends to resuscitate the pandemic crippled economy and create much needed job opportunities during the global crisis. Joachim Duplessis, HTS News Force.